Hey, this is Zhang. This is a playthrough of Spread of Rampant Green. This is a level zero uh, spirit, spirit island board. There are no adversaries. There's no uh, terror level stuff that's going to happen. Uh, no blight cards. We're just playing on base level. This is for an introductory for someone who has never played it before, who might want to learn a little bit of strategy about how I might play it. I've played Spread of Rampant Green probably more than any other spirit in the game. I really enjoy its uh, power, how it works, and what it does. It's, I think, one of, I think, my favorite, just because it's a great support spirit. So let's look at its uh, powers. So its special rule is whenever invaders would ravage or build in a land with your sacred site, you can prevent it by destroying one of your own presence in that land. Also, when you add presence to the board via growth, you can optionally use your destroyed. And because we're not playing with a, a Blight card, uh, there's no healthy land, it's only a Blighted land. Uh, so because the island's Blighted, if you want to use the second option in Steady Regeneration in this power right here, you have to pay one energy to do so. And it's important to note that it's from growth. It's not from any other source. You can't add your destroyed presence using Steady Regeneration via a card. Because if you look at your cards, your starting hand immediately has target spirit adds one presence up to one away from their presence. Normally, you would not be able to target yourself with this, but when you're playing on a solo board like we are today, you can target yourself. That's a, an alternate rule that you, you can do when you're playing solo spirits. Uh, its other abilities are Overgrow in a Night. Overgrow in a Night is another ability that lets you add more presence. But again, if you have all your presence out, it has the optional, uh, the other option of just dealing a ton of fear. In a one-player board, keep in mind that you only need four fear to get a fear card. So three fear is an absurd amount of fear. <laughs> it is almost all the way to a full fear card. And because you're good, also good at dealing damage to towns and cities, this is almost guaranteed to give you a fear card if you are fishing for something. The other two cards deal with uh, have to do with dealing with towns and a uh, minor lead to Han. So fields choked with growth lets you push a, a town from a land and alternately you can push three to Han from a land. Normally I use this for pushing towns out of the way of a ravage because uh, normally this lets me save one of my presents from being destroyed from choke the land with green. Uh, so this is why I normally keep this card. This is also one of the first cards that I normally will forget uh, for a major power if I manage to get up to that point. Just because late game, this ends up not being as good as uh, this one. So Stem the Flow of Fresh Water is an okay card uh, for two reasons. Number one, it's one damage to a town or city. So normally that's not enough to actually kill it. But if you use it in the mountains or sands, you instead deal damage to all towns and cities. So that's a blanket. Anytime there's a blanket effect... It's excellent. So this is a kind of a, a pocket card that I like to keep around, mostly for its uh, the the elements on it, and it's also zero costing, and it's it does have its place, but it's very situational depending on what invader cards come out. Uh, note that the first invade was mountains, so this might actually be a good game to keep this around for a little bit longer. All right, let's oh let's look at uh, its innate powers right here. The innate powers are pretty straightforward. So Creepers Tear into Mortar allow you to synergize with Stem the Flow of Fresh Water. Uh, the Stem the Flow of Fresh Water lets you deal one damage to a town or city, and then you can follow it up with Creepers Tear into Mortar, dealing additional damage. Lots and lots and lots more. And then the second ability is a all an all enveloping green. It's a very basic defend, uh, defend power, but it's also it's helped me out so much in a crutch it's very very easy to get to even the first level because you have in your growth you have a plant right here in the second level here so it's very very good to do that all right so the growth options and i again this is another reason why i absolutely love this spirit it has an always add presence option i believe right now and in jagged earth i don't think there are any but the 
jungle and wetland adding a presence to a jungle or wetlands always like every single turn you get to add one of those presents also keep in mind that even if you have an entire board that's completely empty of all presents on here and you have destroyed presents you can still use this and put more presents out regenerating it's really really fantastic so the reclaim cards lets you get a power card back and the only way to, uh, other way to put out presents is this one and also comes with a really great bonus that again is a fairly rare ability and it's plus one card play early game it's very hard for you to put out uh, additional card plays it's actually allows you to focus a little bit on the top track i i tend to focus on the top track a little bit more early game especially on a level zero board just because you need that energy to be able to do things speaking of energy its last growth option is this gain power card and gain energy so once you feel like you have the board controlled you want to start going into this last growth option because you can then immediately go into major powers getting three energy at once in addition to all the other things that you have will immediately put you on a good footing especially once you've gotten most of your presence out it just becomes a waterfall effect uh, just cascading and making making it so easy to destroy things very very fast uh, so keep that in the back of your mind as we get going here and we're going to do some growth so first things first is i want to use this growth uh, the growth option here and I want to try to diversify my options. I want to try to get to, into as many lands as possible. And here's the problem, though. I, I see that I'm already here, and there's a town here, which is great. And keep in mind that the, the powers that we have like to be in sacred sites and near towns. So I could try to come in here and take care of this very, very early. And I normally would if the first explorer was into a white lands. But because it's not, and I do have a presence here, I want to put the presence here because it creates a sacred site. And look at the adjacencies on land number four here. It is absolutely insane. We have one, two, three, four, five lands that are adjacent to this one. So if we manage to maintain this for the game, we're going to be very, very excellent. Right now, what I'm seeing is that the mountains here is probably going to be not... I'm probably going to let this blight early game and focus on pushing all of the invaders away from the inland lands towards the coast. Keep in mind that uh, this all enveloping green has the ability to remove blight, and many minor powers also have that. Uh, the minor powers in the deck that have remove blight almost always have plant on them, so it's very easy for Spread of Rampant Green to remove blight. What I do want to do, though, is... Let's go into growth. I'm, so I'm absolutely going to do this, and I'm going to add this one right here, making this. I'm going to choose this option, add a presence and plus one card play. And the reason why I'm doing add one presence is because I want to get into this mountain. And the only way to get into a uh, presence into that into a mountain or sand is through that one growth option, because there's no restrictions on it. Uh, you have cards that let you do that as well, uh, but. It, they cost they're, they're pretty costly especially in a multiplayer game i spread of rampant green is almost always going to want to try to do what i'm doing right here so let's take this i, I do want this plant here just so that i'm i uh, actually no <sighs> what i'm thinking here is i i kind of want this but i'm not really focused on it because all, all of my things all of my powers have plant right now and so like getting a plant early right now is not going to really be helpful so i'm going to grab this uh and that's just to help me get towards at least a level two because playing one spirit card uh, one power card per round is not ideal in any way shape or form so we definitely want to try to do this so i want to place this here and the reason for that is because this is going to build this turn and it's going to create a town and I do not want this to ravage, <laughs> surprisingly enough. I, I, I prefer things to not be damaging. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to play this. And my goal is that when this town pops up, I want to be able to kill it almost immediately. And so I'm going to be doing one damage to the town using this power in the slow phase. And using my, my uh, Creeper's Terran to Mortar, I'm going to 
deal the last damage to it in the slow phase as well. So basically I'm, I'm using lots of different uh, effects to target a single town, but early game <laughs> spread of rampant green is kind of what needs to happen. Early game, you're going to focus on survival, and that's pretty much what we're going to do right now. So that's the first one we're going to do, and uh, let's see here. I'm going to... This is a little risky. Uh, normally, I would want to do this just to get unlocked my level two, uh, so to unlock this, because I want to be able to play two cards next turn and go into gain a power card. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with with this I, I want to I, I want to be able to get a sacred site here let's see here on the other hand I actually you know what if I want to do the thing that I was originally talking about where I need to deal damage I need a moon and fields choked with growth does not have a moon and see I need the moon to be able to activate this innate power so I'm gonna have to do this that's not bad, because I'm going to be able to do it pretty quickly. So let's see here. Oh, I hadn't even considered this. This is fast. Okay, so we're going to finish playing cards. Let's let's watch this. Okay, this is going to be great. <laughs> Keep in mind that I'm trying to move all invaders from the inside of the island all the way towards the coast, because the coast is evil and annoying, and if we can push all the invaders there, we won't have to deal with inland forever. So let's add a, uh, I need to target myself. I'm going to unlock this one. I'm going to put it here. So invaders build in mountains. So they automatically build here, but because I just created a sacred site here, due to my choke the land with green, I, I, can, it, I, I can destroy one of my presents here to disallow the build. And I think I'm going to do that. So now I have destroyed presence, and that's not bad. It's we're just dealing with things as as needed. But let's see what happens. Jungles, dang it! I was really hoping for sands or wetlands, and the reason for that is because now we have this nonsense over here. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's uh, instead of dealing damage to this one, I can just deal damage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. See, this is what you get when you play Spirit Island. You you make all these finely laid plans and then they all fall to pieces. <laughs> so the problem with this, again, this is the, the problem with this power, is that you need to be within one of a sacred site. And surprisingly, I just got rid of my sacred site here and so no longer have one out here. And so this power is pretty much going to waste. And, oh man, this is really unfortunate. Ah, oh, well. All right. Well, neither of these powers are really going to help. I mean, I, I can target this and deal one damage to each of these. Woo! And then I can deal damage there. But unfortunately, at the end of every round, all of them gain their health back, and we're right back to where we started. But... I think we're gonna do this this turn. I think I'm gonna do... Yep. Okay, so I need a sacred site back here. This is just, this is absurd. I, I absolutely need it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one here and I'm going to get an extra card play and I'm going to add this one here, getting me to my two energy that I need to be able to play both of these cards. And uh, because I'm doing this, this is great. Okay, so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm going to add my presence to this land. So keep in mind that when you're dealing with, um, shoot. When you're dealing with sacred sites, you need at least two, and that's it. But if you have three, it's still a sacred site, but it, it doesn't do anything else. But in this case, it's actually very important because I want to prevent the build here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a third presence in this land. And I'm going to make a decision here. Right here, I need I, the, the, the decision I'm making is do I want to go for 
lots of plants, or do I want to go for card plays? Because if I go for card plays, I can start transitioning into major powers, and that's probably good. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going on, on this level here. So I'm going to keep that there. So uh, unfortunately, this is going to ravage. I, there's nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, eventually, I'm, I'm going to take care of it. I promise I will. Uh, and I'm uh, hopefully going to be pushing this guy towards the ocean. I'm going to block the build here. OK, so yeah. Defend here, it's not going to do anything, unfortunately. We still don't have any fear cards. Uh, that's a, another initial early thing for Spread of Rampant Green, is you do not deal a lot of fear, except for your one fear card that deals three fear. <laughs> uh, Necros, thank you for that comment. Uh, it's Again, stopping Ravage is... You want that to happen. When you stop Ravage using your... Uh, in your special special rule, the choke land with green, it just completely prevents it. It doesn't happen, so you don't even get a counterattack from the Dahan. So that is the downside. All right. Do I disallow this build? Yes, I'm going to disallow that build. I don't want this to build either. So that's not going to build. And we got wetlands. This is great. Okay, fantastic. So again, next turn, this is going to Ravage, but uh, Ravaging the land requires two damage to actually happen, and Invaders only deal one. So when this damages, it'll, the Dahan will just attack right back and kill it. So we can basically ignore this land now. It's, this is fine. So we're going to absolutely, for sure, oh man. Yeah, we're going to push this guy, and where are we going to push it? <laughs> Unfortunately, this is also a wetlands, which means that it will build their next turn unless we can stop it. Ah! I did say that I was going to go into major powers later, and major powers are very easy, good at getting rid of top-level things here. Uh, Jig Harden Plan, thanks for following. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Deal of damage to a town. I don't have any towns in my lands. I think we're done. It's time to reclaim. Yeah, this is just going to have to do its thing. I, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> All right. I really want to get rid of this stupid little thing here. Okay, so here's my issue, is that if I don't prevent this build, I haven't effectively isolated these lands. Uh, I want to make sure that all uh, these two lands do not get explored in during the next explore phase. Uh, because dealing with one is much better than dealing with two, and so we're going to focus on that. Okay, we absolutely need to reclaim cards, though. And let's go into a major... No, we need a minor power right now. Our first one is going to be a minor power, and then we're gonna... our next turn, we're going to gain three energy and get a major power. Well, voracious growth. Don't you look sexy. Yeah, I think this is the obvious choice right now. I think it's the only one that I should be ever re even remotely thinking of taking. Yeah, we're going to take that one. All right, so I'm going to add this. Again, I'm, try I'm, I'm getting to three card plays so I can start defending more effectively. Uh, I, I want this here so that next turn when I, I use my power, it's it, it will become apparent soon. Okay, so I'm going to make this thing here. Uh, all right, three cards, three cards, three cards. What do I actually want to do here? Let's 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 look. <sighs> Can I deal damage to towns and cities where I'm going to be? I don't think so because I'm going to prevent the build here so that I don't get explorers. This is going to ravage and die, so that's fine. This is going to ravage and be fine. All right. Um. Are we defending? I don't think we're defending this turn either. So this might actually be a turn where I simply hold back. Because this, this is not going to do anything. This is going to build. Can I 
do two damage. Oh, look at that. That's, that, that is absolutely what I'm going to be doing. So two damage, I'm going, to, I'm going to be able to kill this town. And I might be able to actually defend this land next turn when it ravages. Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent. And it's wetland, so I can use my always growth in there too. Oh, that's even better. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so let's see here. That's going to be an absolutely one. One damage to towns and cities. Oh man. Oh, I could I could kill the city. That is absolutely what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna again, this is where like this card can come in really, really good in a pinch. Sometimes. I oh, I have some comments here. Call of the Dahan ways is easy to activate with all of your moon, and once you uncover your plants, moon, water, plant, yeah, it's so. Call of, oh, Call of the Dahan is from earlier, I think. Oh, Call of the Dahan ways is super worth it. Green lacks explorer elimination. Yeah, it's. I did. I figured that this would probably be better. Oh, sorry. Where is it? This one would be better just because it has two damage on it. Also, with if I get into a bind, I do have a remove one one blight. It is range one from a sacred site, but I feel oh shoot, I'm not gonna have a sacred site here. If I if I do prevent this, I'm not gonna have a sacred site. Ah, unless I play gift of proliferation. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm playing three cards. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. So, fast powers. <laughs> Step number one. Uh, we're going to regain our... Um, oh, I'm going to target myself. And I'm going to add... I'm going to get this one, and I'm going to add it right here. So, again, I want a sacred site here because it has one, two, three, four, five different lands adjacent to it. So this is absolutely the one here. So, yeah, that's definitely good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, do I defend? Where do I defend? Again, I don't really care. I'm gonna defend here, why not? All right. Da, 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 da. Do I allow the Ravage? <laughs> yes. Do I allow the Ravage? Absolutely. Invaders building wetlands. Anytime. Okay, we've got a city. I'm gonna prevent that. That's not gonna build. They explore into sands. Ah, dang it. I was really hoping for a jungle or, wet, or mountains. That would have been great. But you can't always get what you want. But you get what you need sometimes, which is great. Still do not have any towns in any of my lands. That's not a bad thing. Oh yeah, two D. Yeah, these these two D Han do like look like muffins, but I I felt that this would be better for a stream layout just because it's very easy to see. In a three D layout, I have to kind of like zoom around a lot. And it's just not ideal. All right, so let's go ahead and just kill this town, uh, the city here. Absolutely kill the city. Absolutely kill the city. One, two, boom. There we go. Finish using powers. Or let's kill a town there. Why not? All right, let's unlock our infinite potential. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm not going to like the sands being here at all. Oh, no. Uh, so I'm going to be able to defend here this turn and be able to kill the town uh, using my innate power. So I, I, that's why I killed the city last turn. All right, let's add a... Let's get this plant going. Where do I want, where do I want the plant? Ah, uh, th these are going to start being a problem. I really wish there was a town, a wetland or, or a jungle that this was added to. Okay, I'm going to add this here just so that I maintain my, my presence here. So that even if I needed to stop a build or something here, I could still do it without sacrificing my sacred site. Okay, let's get a gain a major power card here. Oh, Oh, look at that. Infinite vitality. Unfortunately, I really don't have way, good ways of moving to Han around. That's the only problem. Oh. 
Pillar of Living Flame. <laughs> that would be kind of meme isn't this? This is no ad there is no adversary. This is a tutorial game. So I'm gonna be doing a series of like tutorial games, what newer players might be considering playing, and if you're and I'm gonna be posting these to YouTube so that we can have a record of them. So there's at least one game of each. If I lose this, ah uh, well, there's still good content, I suppose, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm really thinking about infinite vitality just because I'm it's probably late game. It's, it's going to be much more useful. I just don't. This would be much better if I if I was more of an earth focused spirit. <sighs> Pillar of Living Flame does answer areas that I'm not good at, but it also adds blight. But I do get to remove blight. But it's only ever going to be five damage. But it is two away from my sacred site. Oh, and I'm really good at removing blight. <laughs> uh, the other problem is that I have the, the land that I would most want to use it in is here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But this is a mountain. Only, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is only if it's jungle or wetland. Add a blight. Oh, this became just that much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We're taking that. And we're going to get rid of... Uh, probably this one, because I just got a power to replace it. Yeah, I'm, Pillar of Living Flame basically does this, but better. At a higher range. So I'm going to get rid of that one. All right, so let's do that one and that one. Those are the only two I can do. And... This has the bonus uh, because I was, again, this is why I focused on getting to plant early is because even if I have to multi-class into a random major power, I, I still will be able to get into at least this level, defend two. So let's finish playing cards and let's move into this because here, this is, this is why I need to defend right here because wetlands are ravaging right now. Boom, there we go. And we're going to deal two damage to the town, killing that, getting a, not getting a fear card. I'm going to get a fear card next turn with this one. <laughs> Shoot, I mean, I didn't even let these guys blight too. Ah, coastal lands. Ugh. <laughs> Level zero adversary, coastal lands is the worst. Ugh. Ah, that's what you don't want to see. All right. Is it time to Pillar of Living Flame? I think it's time to Pillar of Living Flame. It's only five damage though. Ah! All right. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do, because this is just gonna become more of a problem later. <laughs> I'm going to push, I'm gonna push this town Or do I want to push that down? Ah, yeah, I want to push that down. I want to push this town into here. I, I, again, I just want to focus on this land and just make it everything. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. One, two. There we go. Tons more fear. We just got two fear cards. We're doing great. This is great. Ah, fantastic. Welcome to everyone. If you haven't, please follow. I'm trying to... This is a new thing. I'm, I'm doing a... Twitch thing on Spirit Island because this is great. I love Spirit Island. I've been playing it since it came out and I really enjoy it. And it's now that digital is out, it's an easy way for me to connect with people during especially COVID-19. I am an extrovert first and foremost. Both of my housemates are introverts. And if I were to do the same thing I'm doing right now, I would drive them up a wall, which is what I normally do when I'm playing games. So I really appreciate all of you being here. It warms the cockles of my heart to have you help me out because frankly, I don't know if I'd be able to do the same thing. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think what we're gonna do is, ah, uh, man. Do I want, <laughs> I have two options here that I'm, I'm considering. I have the, let's not reclaim this turn and see what happens. In that case, if I do that, I'm going to add 
my presence to jungle or wetland here. I'm going to gain another power card, probably another major. Might go to minor, not sure. I'm still considering that. I might do a minor this turn just so that I can conserve energy. Uh, and then just uh, next turn, I, I will prevent a ravage here using my presence. Or I re could reclaim. And make sure that I can defend things effectively. Because right now I can't defend things very well. Because I do not have a blue. And spread of green requires blue to be able to defend even a little bit. So I'm leaning towards doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna reclaim. So let's reclaim, see what we get. Uh I do have Pillar of Living Flame. That's a really good major power card. I might want to go for a minor that is less, that might be a zero cost and gets me more of the elements that I actually need. Wow! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you know, you know what this is? You know what this is? This is major power fodder. <laughs> I'm going to take Rain of Blood because it's the only thing that manages to even remotely help me out. Wow, that was terrible. Wow. So, um, let's see here. So I'm definitely going to get my three energy here so that I have some more options and I can build towards bigger things. Um, and I really only can play three at a time. So let's see here. What do I absolutely need to do right now? So Sands are going to Ravage. So Sands, I'm okay with this Ravaging. I'm not happy about it, but I'm okay with it. It's not a good thing. Uh, Veil of Night's Heart Hunt. Uh, with... Which one are you talking about? I don't have Veil of Night's Hunt. I have a comment from Azure Sparrow here for, for people watching on YouTube. Veil of Night... Am I just blind? Oh, it was in the last draft. Yeah, I always tend to go for cards that actually help me, but... You know what? Hold on. Let's... We haven't gone too far. Why not? Let's, let's check this out. I can undo. We're allowed to do that. Veil of Night's on. Each Dahan deals one damage, and it is fast. It would clear it, but it wouldn't really help me. Ah, but it would let me defend. Azure Sparrow, this is... De Sparrow, you are definitely correct. This is definitely the correct pick. You are right. I appreciate you very much. So I'm going to still do the same thing, but Veil of Night's Hunt, that is better here, because then I can clear this, and then I can also defend here. And so I'm going to do this so that I can work on removing Blight, because I do not want to have to deal with Blight anymore. Um, is this going to help me? Yes. Because this... Um, or do I, do I conserve that card? I might want to conserve this card, because it's the only one in my hand that has blue. Ah. I might want to hold back my hand this turn. Just because yeah, just because it's I mean I could I could play Gift of Proliferation just to get an next my last spirit out from my board. I could get this one out and then I could use I could use this as my major power fodder for next turn. That's actually a really really good idea. <sighs> That's a good point. Spread around green does have a ton of green, so you don't really care about that. You do care about blue, though. So, yeah, I'm going to gift, yeah, gift of proliferation this turn. Yeah. My mouth decided to that it didn't want to do things today. All right, so Veil Night's Hunt. Let's do that. Kill both of those so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to defend two here, 
and we're going to gift a proliferation me. And where am I going to do it? Where am I going to do it? You know where I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it right here. <laughs> the reason I'm going to do that is because it lets me target using... Uh, oh, hello. Invaders do not build in lands with cities? No! <laughs> uh, that, was, that was unfortunate. Each player removes one explorer town from a land where it is the only invader. <sighs> All right, well, do I do six or four? But yeah, uh, Nepicros, thank you for re reminding me. Uh, Gift of Proliferation does not tie in to the, uh, the special rule here. So it's that's why I said that I'm going to use that as a major power, major power fodder, so that I'll forget that power because it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, our fear cards were not very helpful, were they, Azure? They were not at all. I think I'm going to get rid of this one just because it lets me keep land number eight completely safe. Again, I'd really love an explorer that was a jungle. That would be great. <sighs> so I'll get rid of that one. All right, Ravage Sands. Nothing happens. <laughs> all right. Well, that's just great. <laughs> Invaders explore wetlands. Still not great. It's <laughs> hoping for forest, but it wasn't mountains at least. It wasn't mountains, so I'll, I'll take that as a win. All right, voracious growth. Do I remove blight or do I deal damage? I might want to deal damage. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your icon. They're not going to build here. It's really great. <laughs> Not helpful at all. Ooh, this. I see a potential here. Okay, so I really want to remove Blight because Blight scares me and I don't like it. But two damage right now is really, really handy because I can just kill this right now. Why did I do that? That's wrong. Undo, undo, undo. I don't want to deal do two damage to those. I want to do this. And that again, and then deal two damage here, and now we're down to only one there. And so this will actually get uh, Ravage before it builds, which is excellent. All right. So I think I'm going to Pillar of Living Flame this turn. But if I want to add a presence and block the build here, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to do this one first because I need to pay an energy to do it. So again, uh, the reason why I can't do this one is because I have no presence on my board right now. And if I wanted to, I I can add my destroyed presence, but it costs me one energy because the land is currently blighted. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. What do I do? Um, gain a power card, do a minor one, just so that I can build up my stuff. It's no Blight card, though. I thought this was a Blighted Island. This is weird. So this is, this is different from uh, the base game, then. Because in the base game, the the land begins blighted in it with, when you're playing with no adversary or anything. It's it's it starts as blighted. It's not a healthy land. You just you put five presents per spirit on that uh, on the blight area, and that's it. That's that's your blight, and the land is blighted. It just starts blighted, and that's it. But here it seems that the land is healthy, which means <laughs> if the land is healthy. I can add this presence here for free. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> huh. Ha ha ha. Well, um, I should probably check my settings to make sure I'm not doing something weird. Because um, this might be my error in that I was supposed to start blighted. Because, I don't know, that's weird. I, I thought the, the land started blighted if you did no adversaries. Huh. 
All right, well, let's get let's get to it. So I added this so I can prevent a build. I'm going to No, if the island is blighted, Azure Sparrow. Island, not land. So the the island should be blighted right now, but it's not. That's that's what I was confused about. Uh ha ha ha. When I was learning the game, I, I played with the no blight rules because I only it, this was before even I uh, the uh, jagged not jagged earth um, the first expansion came out that added all the other blight cards into it so we only had the two that was available and uh, when I was taught the game we were the, the person who taught me uh, who shall go unnamed thank you branch and claw that's what it is the. Uh, just said oh we're, we'll play without a blight card because why not it's fine and so we just did it that way and that was it so that's how i learned and that's that's just how it is um <laughs> all right i'm gonna gain a power card and i think i'm gonna gain a minor power just to see if i can get a zero costing so i can make the most of this turn oh hey look at that enticing splendor i can move to han again yes but oh wait hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on. Defend five. <laughs> Defend five is really good right now because we have a a land that is going to be uh, annoying and I might not be able to defend the entire thing. Oh, that is absolutely what I'm taking. Oh, yes, absolutely taking that. All right, so I'm going to just play the things that I can. Hey, get out of there. I'm going to play these ones. Fantastic. Woo. All right, finish playing cards. Let's see what let's see what we can do here. All right, uh, defend five. We're going to defend five there. And we're going to defend two here. Come at me, invaders. What you going to do? <laughs> they're going to do nothing. That's what they're going to do. They're going to do nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna block that build so we don't get any nonsense. Invaders Explorer into mountains. I just, <laughs> I just can't catch a break. I just wanted a forest, just one jungle. I just wanted one jungle, one jungle. That's all I wanted, one jungle. All right, Pillow of Living Flame. Let's get some more fear cards. Urgh! One, two, three, one, two. Boom, two fear cards, love it. All right, and then. Oh. <laughs> so I think I can win on the next Ravage. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this town over here because we're gonna Ravage in, in Wetlands next turn. I'm just gonna defend here and hopefully we'll win. All right, uh, in chat, what spirit do you want to see next? Go ahead and post it. Figure out something amongst yourselves. You're, there's only eight of you. <laughs> but thank you again for joining. I really appreciate it. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think I really need to care about anything apart from a defense. So let's reclaim. Let's get a minor power that gives me a blue. Or not. That's cool, too. Um, that costs zero. That sounds great. Don't really care. Uh, add a presence. Why don't we add a presence here? Why not? Okay, so we need to get a blue. Okay, so we've defended. Do we go for the meme and not care about anything else? I think we do. Yep. Yep, I think we do. Fast powers, let's do it. What is this? <laughs> Alright, fine. Defense human. Okay, great. I didn't even need to. <laughs> now we get things that are helpful, but now at this point, it's completely useless. <laughs> and we win! Yay! Okay, victory! Woo! Again, for the, those of you watching on YouTube, I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday morning. Tuesdays and Thursdays, Thursdays 7 o'clock to whenever, and then Saturday mornings. So come join us. 
give us a follow and have some fun. We'll see you later.